Hi, this is Don. Welcome to Lighting Essentials. At Lighting Essentials, www.lighting-essentials.com, talk a lot about photography and lighting and Photoshop. This is a shot that we just did on our update to the DVD. All my uh, DVD owners uh, got a free update with some, uh, with about five or six different lighting setups on it, all done with speed lights. This uh, particular shot is done with one speed light. It's one Canon 430EZ. That's an old model Canon. Um, and that's it. And we've got, as you can see, we've got uh, side light, we've got fill light, and we've got hair light. Pretty snazzy, huh? Well, anyway, we're going to fix this up. This is Megan. She is a model and a uh, photographer. She's a wonderful photographer and a good friend. And she was uh, kind enough to sit in for our, our update work here. We're going to we'll do a little work here on the face. And the first thing we're going to do is add a new layer. We're going to name that layer Healing. And using our Healing brush, which is this little guy right here, all layers. And we're going to come in and just sort of sample out some things. I'm just going to heal these uh, little things right here. What I like about the Healing brush is it leaves the texture of the skin intact. In, uh, so we don't have that sort of blown out look that you would get if you use uh, some other uh, ways of doing it. We're just going to heal some of these things that we can here. I'm not going to do a whole scale thing on this DVD. I want you to understand that you can do as you can be very, very precise with this. Okay, I'm kind of gonna doing this quickly here because YouTube gives us a 10 minute video and I don't want to do a, a multi-part video here so uh, believe me when I say you can come in this detailed right here you can come right in like this and work that that closely if you want work on every single thing we're not going to do that we're going to stay with this and we've got our healing brush there that's good our healing layer and actually our healing is looking pretty good take it in like that that's looking great turn it off you can see what we've healed up there we still have some more work to do so we're going to come into the face a little bit tight again we're going to create a new layer above that we're going to call that clone and we're going to use our clone stamp that's this guy right here. We can use it on lighten. And we're going to use it at about 25%. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all layers. I'm going to come right in here. And I'm just going to lighten up some of these darker areas. And right in here. And right in here. I'm just, just tapping it in at 20%. As you can see, it's not we're not doing anything drastic. And we're also doing it on a layer that is non-destructive. Okay. Oops. Got to make sure you get your finger on the right cord here. And we'll just come down here and smooth this out a little bit here in the face. That's looking pretty good. Anything down here in the skin? A little bit right here. Come right in here like this. You can hear the clicks. That's one of the reasons why I like to work at 25%. I want to click it in. I don't want to just, you know, hit it once. I want to click it in, make sure I've got what I want it to look like. I'd rather click it in five or six times than have it be so difficult or so strong uh, that it's difficult to work with. All right, so that's, that's Megan. Let's see what we've done. Okay, looking pretty good. Um, Let's go back out. Uh, the, her hair looks great. This the gray background looks great. I'm going to darken that gray background just a little bit. Uh, we are going to add a new layer. Uh, you've probably seen me do this before if you've seen any of my videos, but I'm going to fill it with 50% uh, gray. Um, there's some modern ways to do that in Photoshop, but I like to work with Photoshop 7 controls or CS controls, I'm sorry, uh, so that I don't want anyone to feel that they have to have the most modern tool you can do this with cs probably do this with seven too as a matter of fact so 
I'm just going to darken this back here on this layer. I'm painting with black and I'm painting at 8%. So it's very subtle. Right down like this. I like to lower that a little bit. I'm going to change to white at 8%. And it's going to add some highlights in the hair just like this. Just to open up that hair a little bit. We got some nice highlights going because we've got a beautiful lighting system here. So you can see how pretty the light is. It looks great. It's dimensional. Um, and it's done with one speed light and about um, $25 worth of gear. So just gives you an idea, huh? All right. We could add a texture to this. We could do a lot of things to this. But I am going to use uh, my uh, Acme Glam. And I'm going to show you how I do that with something like this. I need to get all of these layers flattened, but I don't want to flatten my image. So I'm going to create a new layer above that. Alt, Control, Shift, E. And now I have a layer above all those other layers that has the accumulation of all the layers that I've done below it. Okay? I'm going to copy that. A, copy, new, OK, V, paste, E, flatten. And I'm going to run the Acme Glam. Now, uh, those of you who have the DVD, this was, uh, that movie was made for those of you who do have the DVD. If you have the DVD, you have the Acme Glam. Click on the Acme Glam, run the Acme Glam, and of course it's way too hot. So I'm going to drop this down to about 50%. Okay. Now in this particular one, I am going to flatten the layer. And I'm going to hold the Shift key down, and I'm going to drag it over to the other one. Control D. Now I have the Acme Glam above the one below it. I'm going to change the opacity of the Acme Glam down to about 60%. Without it, with it, without it, with it, you see. Uh, it's just subtle enough to make it work really well. And I can add a layer mask to that. Black, brush, about 30%. And I can just kind of tone this back. I can bring this back to that sharpness on below it. I'm going to come in here to the eyes and the lips. Black. Just going to bring those back into the sharpness realm here. Same thing with the lips. Back out. And that's a very pretty portrait, I believe. I'll put this away so we don't need that anymore. Very pretty portrait of Megan, and this is where we started, and this is where we ended up. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little adventure. Come visit us at www.lighting-essentials.com and have a lot of fun with photography and Photoshop. Thanks a lot.